Another day, another build breakdown. And today we have a very special guest. Like semi-special. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, That's well, he's hung out with him a lot more than I have, so he's a little more special for me. You know, <laughs> I, just, I still get a little, uh, what do they call it, starstruck. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my God! Santa here? I know him. Do you really? A little bit, man. A little bit. Anyway, so today, Ken gets to come here. I don't want to say redeem himself, but the last two times he's been here, he was in the Escort, Mark II Escort. <laughs> Low horsepower car, relatively. And then was in the other Escort, which is the Mark V Escort, the Kazi. <laughs> Which is also a lower horsepower car, not really like a modern car, like the car he does for Zincana, but today we have this. And we have Ken over there on Instagram. What's up, Ken? Always <laughs> super stoked and interested. <laughs> I just waiting to do something awesome. Well, well, you're in luck. We're gonna have you do a lot of awesome things. First off, you gotta pick up these weights. <laughs> Curls for the girls. <laughs> Glam muscles. Nope, not today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What's up, Hurt? What's going on, Ken? It's Giscato. So, I've already explained to the audience, today you've come to take the Yard King Award. You've been- yeah, He doesn't been know that, but we've been doing just scumbagged him into it. So <laughs> boom, now you have to. It's, okay. no, it's one thing to be head hoonigan in charge, but you kinda gotta take the scumbag, king of the scumbags. Yeah. That's the next level. First person to really elevate, Dai Yoshihara. <laughs> And then that kind of just set everything off. We haven't seen you manline yet. Well, the funny thing is I've been watching all these episodes of people like Die, Shit Car, everything going on here. And I just sit there and watch and I'm like, wow, that looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> but no one's been here with a high horsepower, all wheel drive car. And You're I've still been, the I'm, only person to do donuts here in an all wheel drive car. Right. and Because the Audi's not done yet. Right. And that was mm -hmm. a 25 year old car. 15 years later. Not a piece of our modern Hoonigan racing equipment like this very fine Ford Fiesta RX 43. So before we get into what we're gonna do, let's let's talk about the car real quick. Okay. So last time we saw this car was Jim 8? No, last time it was on video was last year for Terracana. Okay. Oh. The year before that was Jim Connor 8. <laughs> Yeah, in Dubai. And then it also did Gymkhana Grid in South Africa. So last time I've actually driven this car, <laughs> it was last November. And, and by the way, the last time they apparently maintained the car was in yeah. South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Love that, that race tape. <laughs> we need to make yeah, some... Look at, this, look at this nice gap here, too. You're really killing the game on Fitment, huh? Well, Is this a new... well unfortunately, you know, something comes back from a, an event like that obviously been on a ship in a shipping container all yeah. across the ocean. This car literally travels on containers and planes and boats and all yeah. over the place. So, But it comes back and it doesn't get re-prepped really until we have to do something with it. 
and this was such a last minute thing to come out here it was just thrown into a truck and brought out here and skippy had to drive this morning out from vegas to to run it for us so it hasn't been touched i haven't actually driven it since november i haven't even been in a race car you, for i don't know a month and a half or two months you honestly don't even need an excuse for this because our cars look just like yeah, that and they're right here so i'm just fitting in at this point yeah. but I, I love this car yeah. is, is this one of what your favorites what? this what is this? expired set two Nice. <laughs> well, that'll work out well. Uh, we, we really <laughs> stepped it up for this shoot today. So this started, this basic design started as a world rally car. And then we took the world rally car and made what we call the HFHV, which did rally, rally cross, and Gymkhana. But it's hard to put all those things into one car. So eventually this car was developed with M Sport which is the Rallycross version of the World Rallycross, the World Rally Car. That's a word jungle. Woo! Yeah. Uh, so it's I'm actually, go over the better so name it's actually a very specifically built Rallycross car from M Sport. Many years of development on this car, it's a World Rally Car, and then that developed then into a very good World Rallycross car. So, like I said, I've won, I don't know, five or six events with this car in GRC. Uh, which is the Global Rallycross Championship. Actually got a third and fourth with it over in uh, World Rallycross in 2014. Nice. Uh, including my first podium in that series, uh, and the first event I did in Norway. So yeah. Um, Some, a lot of sentimental value with this one, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, Love, love. <laughs> the difference between this and the World Rally Championship car is that this engine makes almost twice the horsepower of a WRC of car? Of a WRC car, yeah, so almost twice, like roughly 650 horsepower. Well, it's uh, actually a much different build than the. You probably know more. Well, the current is, WRC car is 1.6 liter. Yeah. This is actually a two liter, and in this format, we don't have a restrictor on the turbo, so that's why it builds the power that it builds. We could actually build more power out of it, but for the. Chimkana Racing, which is Chimkana Grid, which I last did with this car. You don't want too much horsepower, it's too easy to overpower the wheels when we're racing for time. So the current setup here on the car really is for speed in Chimkana. So two liters, 600 horsepower? Yeah. That's absurd. 650. That's absurd. Yeah. 650. Oh, we'll and, drive. And almost as speed. much gold tape as your engine back. <laughs> yeah, working on it. Working, power, on, right? working on it. Yeah, no, I oh, respect it. There's actually a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that that was designed like that. I got more tape <laughs> if you need it. We can, we can take it. Man, I just realized that this is Ken Block's beater. This is what a, this is what a Ken Block beater God, looks like. God, what is life? <laughs> I, what are these? Are wild clamps? And look how many are on there. Not dealing with any blow-offs. So the drivetrain on this, it's all-wheel drive. It is a six-speed sequential gearbox. Let's see in there. Let's go ahead and pop in there. It's a very nice cockpit. Look, there's even a passenger seat in right now. We can actually give ride-alongs here. Here we go. woo -hoo. And it's got the uh, gold handbrake sleeve from you Jim Kana 8. Gotta have that. That's your, yeah. That's that signature. I think people always love that when, when they see photos of me sitting in the car, especially like open door sitting with like my head is back here yeah. <laughs> you know we've moved the mirror from up here to the middle of the door i don't even yeah i didn't even realize and that's for safety purposes obviously yeah safety purposes and also center Wait. of gravity for yeah. the car and also because of the way the firewall works and the pedals and all that it's easier to kind of have things a little more spacious than sitting back so but at the end of the day though the weight of me in this seat in the middle of the car. Carbon Kevlar really seat. Oh man, look at this. this is a WRC spec. You know what the oh price on that seat is? Five thousand bucks, probably. Twenty-five grand was the original. Twenty. Price. They probably came down. <laughs> but the back So the back story on that seat is that the FIA changed the rules for what was required. So Recaro basically had to build these just for WRC the yeah. first year. And when they built them, they were like twenty-five grand a piece because they only had to make like forty or fifty of them. So yeah. I remember when we got that the first bill for that VHF HB, we were like, "How much are those seats?" That yeah. was actually custom fitted to the seat at one time in Germany. So when they first came out with the spec, and Recaro had to Jeez. measure everybody to make sure that. 
they had the right sizing to fit everybody that was racing. At That's the a rowdy seat. I noticed you only have one twenty-five thousand dollars seat. In there. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah, not, you don't you get have, that kind of. No, uh, we actually that kind do of have more than one because Alex, my co driver, uh, okay, okay. has to have one over right, there. Right, right, but right. But because we were doing ride-alongs, you, we put in just the cheaper, lighter seat. Sorry, guys, no peasants allowed in the in, <laughs> in the fancy seat. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> ride-alongs in Jim Connor Grid is slightly less risky. Then 100 miles an hour for sure between the trees out in the forest. One hundred percent rally is no joke. That stuff's scary. Well, damn. Fancy seat, all the goodies, obviously keep you safe. The funny thing is, this car actually looks old to me now. The Focus actually is even bigger and wider and more aggressive on on all the aero and this car actually looked really aggressive about i don't know seven years ago <laughs> is this is this the same car that caught on fire at but it was the version before the okay. hv okay this is the more evolved version but this was the beginning car. of these super hard cuts in the fenders and they're like so you know, remember back in the day when all of the overfenders kind of rolled down? Yeah. Like this was the beginning of this like really aggressive angling and all of that. And we carried this look over into Hoonicorn and a bunch of other vehicles. And this is what M Sport races in the World Rally Championship. And now, now they have an even more evolved, even bigger aero car that races in the current World Rally Championship. But these these cuts and all this come from the designers at M Sport from the wind tunnel design and testing and all that. And basically we've evolved that um, in our designs into the Hunicorn and other vehicles, right. you know, like the Mark II Escort. But it's it's based off the aero work that was designed for this car. I see, I see. And for the people so who M don't know what M Sport is? M Sport is basically the builder for the factory uh, Ford cars. So for the World Rally For the World Rally Championship. They also build by the way. Well, Hoonigan Racing's Ford Focus RS RX's last couple of years, they built these RX43s for several teams around the world to race and rally cross. So a lot of their business is Ford's. Some of M Sport's biggest business besides the World Rally Championship, actually they make the R5s and the R2s, which are the most common uh, rally car raced around the world. So R2 being a Fiesta that's a grassroots car, like my wife drives that car. <laughs> And the R5 is the step below the world rally car that is raced all over the world in all the national championships. Mm. So they actually have a, a very big business of producing Fords to race from the top level of rally all the way down to a great grassroots car. Taking care of everybody. Yep. One thing that's very different between the WRC car and the rally cross car is the rear mount radiator. So before that became a mandate in building a Pro 1 drift car for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's not no reason, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. It all right, keeps right. cars cooler. It's science. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Whatever. Anyway. People put the radiators in the back, half cut the windows, air directly goes over the roof into the radiator. I'm so sorry. The reason why <laughs> this is like this in a rally cross car, though, is you could be inches behind somebody who could just be clogging your radiator. So that's why they moved into the back and years on, and years ago. And on top of that, too, another reason is that bumper to bumper actually restricts airflow right. going into the front radiator. And, and if we run these cars for too long, because the. the the rally cross races are designed to not be more than like eight or ten laps. You run them longer than that, they start to overheat. They're only built to run that long. Because they're not as good as front mount radiators in a car <laughs> that's moving forward. <laughs> well, because a lot of things in physics. <laughs> I, I just learned that Brian really hates rear mount radiators. You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> I'm my is for me too. too. <laughs> but at least I admit I do. Oh, just because it looks cool, you're no, putting it's because I have no room in the front of my car. <laughs> have you ever understood why they put these fins in? Yes, I'm very curious actually. It's, it, it's actually originated years ago because the theory was that uh, with stage rally cars, you're sideways a lot. Mm. So it's actually helping keep, try and drive the car forward to more resistance I this see. way. Yeah. So sometimes they'll have you know, six fins or five fins, and this one happens to only have two and that, fins in the middle. For those of you who don't think that makes a difference, even in drifting, people were running really big end plates yeah. so that when they threw the car extra hard, it would 
slow down faster. Yeah. Yeah. What about these bad boys? Uh, turbo fans on a very nice set of Toyos. 1552 made these for us years ago. It was just actual something oh, I wanted strictly as a homage to late 80s rallying. So they were doing so many long tarmac stages that they needed to get more cooling in to cool the brakes. Right. You do a stage on tarmac in the mountains of you know, Monte Carlo, those brakes get really, really hot. So the, the idea was to drive more in, more air going into the wheel, into the brakes to keep them cool. So for me, it's, it's obviously a styling thing, but actually a big homage to that era of rallying because it's, I'm just a huge rally fan. You gotta so respect your elders. I love that stuff. So yeah. I, I, I just have enjoyed that look and love what it does for not only the slight bit of performance we get out of it, but just the styling and the look of it. Mm. And of course, we have a very nice set of Toyo meats on these things. Uh, are those R triple eights? Are those the Ken spec? Oh no, they're the special Ken spec. The Ken they spec. Don't have any branding yeah. on them. Yeah, oh, yeah these are literally not for highway use. Yeah. Ken spec Jim Connor tires. Yeah. No big deal. We do a lot of uh, some kind of type videos, and so Toyo has been very nice to make us some very specific compounds. To your tires. <laughs> <laughs> tires. 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 Tires to make more smoke. We're not racing with these. Kidding. I remember when the tires came out and they had like Ken's name on them and stuff. I was like, God damn! What is life? Well, it's great to have partners like Toyo that work so well with us making the Jim Connor videos. So. Well, let's make a Jim Connor video in the parking lot. Do I get to do that today? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a few barrels from, I don't know where this came from, but they smell like soy sauce. Yeah, <laughs> it literally says soy sauce. But oh. what are we doing? We're going to smell bag you until you put down the most impressive run we've ever seen in the yard. For me, with this car, we can do a donut box, we can do a figure eight. I can do what you guys go to the moon line. Oh, 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 wait. Oh. The what line? <laughs> oh, did he just call it the little what, boy I've already, line? But yeah. I've already done it. I did it in the can am. Ken, Ken does the, the Evo ball. corner one time, and now it's the, <laughs> it's the van line. <laughs> <laughs> You, you gotta put some respect on the. You gotta put some boy. respect on our name, all right? He just called out the little. Yeah, boy man. Oh, like I see it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, right, so what are we gonna? Do? We were gonna be nice gonna, to you. Gonna, we were gonna be nice. First off, first off, <laughs> if we don't see Center Axis donuts on top of the dock, scumbag action number one. Okay. Donuts right there. Okay. What else? This is about the size of a donut box. Sure. Donut box in here. Okay. Obviously, nice obviously. Me and mine. Me and mine. Me and mine. Me and mine. <laughs> <laughs> And then, I've never and, felt so disrespected, I honestly. You guys, that was Manline as a crazy car thing first. Yeah. That didn't, we didn't ever think cars would do it. It was just crazy car. By the way, watch the new uh, season of Garage Garage where we made crazy cars cooler. Let me get this straight. What do you want me to do? Donut box, figure eight. So we'll do a good launch because it's rally cross cars. Manline and reverse Manline. Back up. Well, sure. You got to say it right. Manline. Manline. Uh, <laughs> Center <laughs> Axis Donuts. Yeah. And then maybe a reverse entry back around. Nah, know. just give it that, uh, was it that Gem 2 or Gem 3 finish with the wheels? <laughs> I don't know if we got enough time for his flight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, let's do this. Got an hour and 15 to do this. Let's do this. Alright, well, All right. to this. So the plan is. Ready, I, I think he's just gonna go.
that Subaru, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I haven't finished the Audi yet, I don't want to be compared to that. <laughs> Brian, oh, knows. That's the day the Audi's done. That that's the gonna... only reason. That's the only yeah. reason. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, check this out. <laughs> This thing's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, the cow loves me. Watch. Thanks. Cacao cares about me, guys. He wants my ears to be no. safe. No. All right. Put myself in the danger zone as usual. Let's see how this goes. so fast, it's ridiculous. All wheel drive is so much more ballsy than rear wheel drive, flat out. Oh, <laughs> 
one thing that can take a beating. <laughs> Push that case up actually. Yeah. Uh, you know, because you've had an impact there. Well, Stan, welcome to build breakdown where people come and break, destroy their cars. Literal <laughs> breakdown. Uh, you have to come back and finish this, I'm just saying. Well, nice work breaking this, Ken. I didn't get to really do anything. You did a couple sweet jumps. Jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not entertained? You know what's crazy is still, since the last time Ken brought his uh, Kazi here, no one else has done anything cool all-wheel drive in a lot. You guys did. Ken's the only guy. You did really call out the all-wheel guy. And no one stepped up. No. No oh, one cut, stepped up. Cut, where y'all at? No one came here. We had to bring the big guns out. Come on. Is Ken the only guy that can all-wheel drive this lot? Ooh. I know he can once his car's done. Yeah, my shit's broken right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why you're on the team now. <laughs> oh, yeah, our life. I just want you to take note of the full lock on this car. It's not very locky. <laughs> you don't get no angle kit here. Obviously, this this has now happened. It's it's literally just a small crack in the gearbox. Which has never happened before in the history of the gearbox, but sure, we'll figure it out. All right, so here's the thing. We all want to see that get finished. Yeah. Everybody at home wants to see that get finished. I so I only come here like twice a year, so. No. <laughs> I have to come back. Don't break the illusion. Came yeah. out here every day, hanging out. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. You and Hurt eating pizza yeah. together. So this is obviously a to be continued. I was hoping to be done. <laughs> I was really hoping to be done. <laughs> Man. I don't like failing! Wait, Slow thing. diss. I don't like, I don't like, I don't I like really failing. I was really hoping to I never have like, to come back and hang out with you guys again. Man, you were just, you were just, you were just a little too rough on her. It's not man. Man, I maybe mean, it's not so it's man line not, anymore. That's like a Ken line. That's, that's well, the uh, signature Ken line. Now, hung the bumpers off on both sides. No one's ever done oh, that Oh, do we here. get to rename it? Yeah, that's a When you line. come back and finish oh, it. You know what you gotta do. Wait, do we wrap it? Is it a wrap? He's got. Wrap? It's a to be continued. That's a, How's that's that sound? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. To be continued! I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> too many words. Why don't, we just, why don't we just call out all the all wheel drive people who are too scared to come here and see if they can up, one up Ken before Ken comes back? Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, no, I like challenge. that. Open Ooh. challenge. Open challenge. Open challenge. You come here, do your best, and you might go one on one, heads up, when he comes back to drive this thing. Till next time, Ken. You are coming back. Yo, Kakao, what do you think? About what? About that. Were you here? Were you watching it? Or were you like on a conference yeah, call? I was flipped over. I was not safe. I was flipped over? I, I missed that part. You don't remember being like this? Oh. Um, yeah. Ha, 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 ha.